hasn't urinated for about 24 hours. Oh, We're in really bad trouble. Wow. Just measuring Jasper's bladder size on the ultrasound, it's six centimetres by four centimetres, which is huge for a cat. So we really need to act quickly. The risk is that their potassium levels can go through the roof and cause arrhythmias in the heart, uh, which can eventually lead to death. In Melbourne, Danny's first patient is being rushed in. Little key hat, um, it's been blocked. I've just had a feel of his bladder, it's rock hard. Oh, golly, okay. Um, he hasn't urinated for about 24 hours. Oh, so I'm just a bit concerned. Yeah, sure. Eight year old Jasper isn't weeing and he's acutely distressed. So our heart rate is flying along, so we are definitely painful, but things haven't progressed to a point where we're in really bad trouble. Oh, yes, mate. Ouch. All right, mate, get you some pain relief straight away, all right? Um, we'll get some bloods, yep. um, get him on fluids, sure. and then we'll get everything set, set up. up. Yeah, we're gonna have to unblock this. From my understanding, usually there's a mucus plug with crystals, and it's just a matter of flushing and pushing through that blockage, then release that obstruction. So it'll be um, a new experience for me, and really great learning opportunity as well. So, but let's get you sorted, mate, hey? Get those bloods happening now. Time is definitely of the essence. It's usually male cats that become blocked, and if that isn't addressed immediately, the risk is that their potassium levels can go through the roof and cause arrhythmias in the heart, uh, which can eventually lead to death. You're a tough boy. We've got this catheter in now, we can give him some pain relief and then we will start him on fluids, but we'll wait to see what uh, the bloods are saying um, as to how sort of aggressive we have to be with our fluid therapy. We'll also get him ready to uh, anaesthetise him and put a catheter into his urethra to unblock that bladder. That is going to make a big difference. Okay, but we have to stabilise first. The danger is if you don't stabilise them first, potentially you can push them over the edge and end up in a more life-threatening situation. Danny, there's blood about the Jasper. Okay, how are we looking? Okay, good, so the potassium's normal, so I'm happy we're all good to go to the GA and get this cat unblocked. Danny wants to act as quickly as possible to help relieve some of Jasper's extreme abdominal pain. a nice snug fit to that tube. An ultrasound will show if Jasper has any bladder stones or a mass such as cancer, which might be causing the obstruction. It's less likely, but we need to make sure that's not happening. A little bit, but not So terribly. there's your bladder. Wow. I'm seeing a lot of debris in there, uh, a lot of grit. It's not okay. Just measuring Jasper's bladder size on the ultrasound, it's six centimetres by four centimetres, which is huge for a cat. It should not be that big, so this is a really serious situation. Uh, this obstruction has been there for some time for that to occur, so we really need to act quickly. So once Jasper is anaesthetised properly, we will start to unblock him. So we will use a catheter to place that into his urethra and start flushing lots and lots of saline uh, to remove whatever's obstructing that. As the urine starts to flush out, Danny is paying close attention to how it looks. If it's nice and clear, that's good news. If it's looking really uh, murky and bloody, then we are concerned that he could easily re-obstruct. Uh, so we'll need to keep flushing and flushing and flushing till that's all nice and clear. So we have unblocked the urethra. Uh, we've shifted whatever obstruction was there. We have removed that catheter and now urine is just flowing out. So we're just expressing that bladder now to try and empty it 
much as we can. Really this is unblocked relatively easily today compared to what it could be. So this is good. This is good news for Jasper. I think we've got lots of uh, crystals and, and that mucousy plug that's been forming there. Uh, so we will test this urine and see what crystals we have uh, and that will give us a plan going forward to prevent this from happening again. Let's hop in a bed, mate. A much more comfortable Jasper can now peacefully sleep off the anaesthetic. So Jasper's just going to rest up in recovery now. I'm sure he's going to be fine. It was a little bit daunting. Uh, we were in a bit of a serious situation and I had not uh, done this procedure before, but I am just so excited. I did it. Hi, I'm Dr. Kate, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen for more great content. And for free, exclusive, never seen before Bondi Vet stories, you can sign up to bondipet.com, and you can do so via the link in the description.